evening everybody and just before we were go on air we're getting some technical difficulties so my name is Jason the disembodied voice you're hearing and this is masterworks and tonight we're gonna look at some work by John McCartan he's a living Australian artist and I didn't easily find his dates so we'll see about that we'll come back and say hello as long as the computer's working we'll see how this works out okay so Susan was asking about varnishing and it says that you're supposed to wait six months before you do it um, six months to a year technically but uh, many artists um, will do it as it's dry to the touch they'll varnish it and supposedly it can kind of all dry together um, but if you don't do it then yeah you are supposed to uh, some of the new formulas of varnish don't necessarily require that. I think Gamblin even says when it's dry to the touch, you can. Um, but I think some of the um, older style finishes and stuff. But um, again, you want things to turn out nice, but you know, is it really necessary for your paintings to last 400 years? I you know I don't feel that way about mine maybe you feel that way about yours so just kind of all depends you're welcome Susan you're welcome so let's do a little housekeeping um, as this will be the last where are we at what are we at Ma masterwork masterwork we've done all of December straight through so what we've decided to do is to take it down to two days a week. And so we have Sketch Club Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Then we'll have Masterworks on Monday, Wednesday, and take Friday evening off. So starting on Monday, we're going to go to that schedule for Masterworks. And then I believe we've settled on the morning jump start. Uh, we will do that Tuesday through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and uh, probably not Monday and Friday. We have classes those days. So anytime we're kind of doubled up, we're trying to take that away a little bit. So if you're in class, you'll still get Monday through Friday. And if you want to go Facebook Sketch Club and Masterworks, we got you covered Sunday through Thursday. So I hope that works out for everybody. I think it's going to work out better for our schedule and maybe not feed you guys from a fire hose quite so much. All right, so with that little bit of housekeeping done, why don't we take a look at a couple of John McCartan paintings? Maybe three of them. So as always, just let's give ourselves a minute to take this in and again, just look. What do you see? What are you attracted to? Are you attracted to it or are you repelled? What's attractive or what's unattractive to you? All right, what kind of feelings does it bring? Oh, thanks, Susan. Thanks. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little more reasonable and doable for everybody. Right? We want to keep everybody busy and stay busy ourselves when we're at home, but reasonable is good. I love that. <laughs> that is, well, you, na you nailed it. Susan says, I love it, but I keep looking for the koala. This is an John is an Australian. He is living, like I said, I, I didn't easily find a birth date. Um, but, uh, yeah, quite beautiful. All right, well, let's have a look. Let's dig into this a little bit. We were talking about more or less earlier, um, in class. So does that little green there look more or less than that? Right, if you just kind of look, it's kind of obvious, right? Bam, he's... He's saying here, here, right here, right? How else is he saying that? He's saying that because he's got dark surrounded by light. 
So it's kind of like he's banging drums here, making a lot of noise. Saying, hey, 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 over here, over here, over here. And then I pretty easily think uh, this is probably the next thing we're seeing, right? And how has he supplemented that? Well, we've got some nice color around here too, don't we? So not only do we have this spot, but we've got that. And do we start to give way and pick up here? Why are we here? Well, is this as bright as that part? No, no, it's not. So that's partial tree. Then that's next. Right, so we could even imagine that still continuing. Then we're going to drop down to there. And then we've got some medium stuff, right, that we're dropping into. Then we drop down to this level. What's that last level back there? Right, that it's just can't even go sideways. It's just boom. So is that some variety? Right? So we've got this size. We've got this size. We've got this size. We've got this size. And we got this size. Yeah, I'd say that's some good variety there. Light, shadow, or dark, light, dark, light. So you see those dark light patterns he's using to walk you back in space? And how far up the tree does it take to go through all of these changes? Not very far. So the effect is... The effect is, this is looking huge. You know, especially if the next trunk is this wide. Right, so we're really, really selling it. And then you've got these little bitty trees back there. So you picking up those patterns a, a little bit more that we're seeing? Yeah, and then how are things, right? You see this goes yellow to green, right? Yellow to green. Yellow, green, yellow, green, green, blue. And then we have the white and the warm that's continued in the clouds in the sky. Look at the color of the sky here versus the color of the sky there. All these cool little sky holes. Not super bright, but again, it, it lets this, lets you breathe through here. All right, so that's the first one by John McCartan. I mean, it just looks absolutely natural, like it's almost just copied, right? But it's very much designed. Very much designed. We got some new, how else could we see this? How else could we see this? Well, they're not koalas, but how about some cows? How about some cows? There 
here. We don't need. We don't need me interfering with this. All right. So what do you see here? So how much really detail is there on the cows and on the trees and on the farmer? Oh, you didn't see the farmer there? No, 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 no. These trees. That cow. How much detail? Right? It's. I'm going to propose that only because of this cow and that cow and these trees. This farmer. Do these cows in this tree have the impact that it has? Well, you can't say that. You don't know that. I mean, you know, it's just, it's not because of them. You could take those away and, okay, well, let's just say, why don't we make this tree that bright? And why don't we just put a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, a little bit of that on this cow. And then, let's see, how about a little bit of that on the hay there? You can get away with bits and pieces, but little bits at a time, what's happening is you're flattening. You see, you're bringing that stuff forward. And by bringing it forward, what you're doing is you're robbing the feeling of space. Look how different is this cow. How different is this cow from this cow from this cow? How different is this green from this green to that green? That was part of the genius of the question that teacher asked me. It could probably could have been explained a little more, but compare, 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 relate, relate, relate. Right? How is it different? How is it different? How is it different? How is it the same? How is it the same? How is it the same? By the way, do you see that little flurry up there? Is there a lot of this bright blue everywhere else in the, oh, there's no bright blue. What about over, oh, well, maybe there's some of, you know that, uh, no. Just to kind of show you that there's pretty drastic changes in color and stuff depending on what he's trying to give weight to. You think maybe that helped you not see the farmer down here? Maybe. Right, well, there's no maybe, it's definitely. Definitely. When you can't see it, what do you see? I love that question. When you can't see it, what do you see? Right? Take it so small that literally all you can make out are kind of darks and lights. And study it at that level.
All right. Well, this is the second painting we've seen by John that just had these massive trees. I mean, massive trees as, as related to the size of the canvas, right? Look, this tree goes from here to here. You see that? Look at that. That's a single tree. That's a lot of tree there, especially when you compare it to this. So how else might you paint a scene like this? A nice pastoral scene with the farmer out feeding the cows. Well, enough with the trees. How about some... How about some cows and some grass? Did he give up farming and just start lighting fires? What's going on with this guy? What's going on with that guy? Anyway, take a minute and what do you see? What do you see? What do you feel? What does it remind you of? Do you like it? Why and why not? I mean, I, I love this because how could you not like this? Honest, honestly, how could you not like this beautiful scene? And he's so confident in his, in his abilities. Do you know who he sends to answer the door? <laughs> a cow butt. He stuck a cow butt in your face and we don't even mind. Wait, what? Is, is, is that rude? Is that rude? I don't know, maybe. But I got a smile on my face, so I don't know. I don't know. Can you see kind of the brightness of this grass here and the activity? And then compare it with just, just back here. And then how did that give way to even you remember the size of our last trees well that's it now and they're basically all a single group you see that this is like tree land right here and then down here we've got grassland and we got a little bit of sky right because all they need to do is support support the cows So this is a backlit situation. And when you have that, you've got shadow and then around the rim, you'll pick up some light. Okay, so that's, that's how backlit has handled. Now look at it, he didn't just blindly do a line around the outside of that. He hasn't put anything there. Nothing, nothing. So before you start thinking, oh, all I got to do is put a light line around it. It's a little trickier. It's a little trickier. Again, how much has he put? Just a little bit right here. A little bit right there. And then he showed the difference between skylight in shadow 
and then reflected light from the ground. So that's all pretty subtle right there, but that's how these things are looking so full. Right? Can you see? You see that versus that versus that. That's how he's holding his planes together. And what I mean by holding planes together is saying this face is up, this face is sideways, this face is back, and here we're turning down. Right? Because it's that that give you the feeling of this huge three-dimensional cow, right? And not some paper cut out. Okay, and again, sometimes we want to look at what we don't look at. Right? How did he get these sky holes in here? Without them overpowering this. Well, what's our dark? What's our color? And then our white, he's got white versus, you see this? So each of those three components is more, right? Not only are they more, but then the more is put together and the less is put together. And so this wins. And that's just kind of the quiet doo-wop doo-wop backup singers, right? Necessary, necessary, but they aren't su supposed to steal the spotlight because then the backup singers become the lead singers. And if it's, if it's, that's the case, we just need to reverse roles. Okay. So that's going to, I think, wrap it up. If you have any questions, I'll stick around for a minute or two to let, let them come through. And we can enjoy these scenes. And I hope over this time that we've spent together and, um, you know, between you guys doing so much work and then seeing so much work and us talking about it. And I, you know, I don't even have to really hope I can see it. But, uh artistic growth is what tells me yeah you're doing a good job right if I can see the artistic growth in my students the students that are working I mean you can't give or force growth on anybody but those who are actively seeking it and participating and working for it um, when we can get on a good schedule and get good communication um, man I don't want to call them miracles. Just good stuff happens. Really, really good stuff happens. All right. So let's review real quick. So you can again see the differences. Oh, wow. Okay. These are funny. I appreciate these paintings particularly because I worked in Australia for a while. Nice. Oh, hey, Katie. Yeah, he's pretty fantastic, this guy. Uh, I'd say he knows how to paint. I'd say he knows how to paint. Um, you know, Tom's a tree guy or he knows a lot about trees. And uh, since we've been hanging out... He's always told us about uh, the eucalyptus and how they came from Australia and there's like 300 species of them and all of that. Pretty incredible. Unfortunately, I think that's one of the things I've got a bad allergy to, but they're gorgeous. We have a big, beautiful one in our backyard and, and the changes it goes through the bark and everything through the years is just spectacular. And then I, I think it's called, or at least the, 
the layman's name for it is the silver dollar eucalyptus. Those are great leaves for still lives and things like that. All right, so just as a reminder, we're going to be adjusting our schedule for January a little bit. Um, this program, the Masters, it will run Monday and Wednesdays only. We'll have Sketch Club Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then we'll have Masterworks uh, Monday. Yes, Monday and Wednesday. And we're going to move the Masterworks till 7 o'clock. So it's 7 o'clock across the board. And. Um, Money jump start. We're gonna change that from Monday through Friday to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so that we'll have zooms Monday and zooms on Friday, and then we're only gonna do the morning jump start on the in between days. And that's the new schedule. So I this has been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to continuing it, but we'll slow it down. And I just had these on. On, on my walk and the cows <laughs> that's that's awesome they're so be beautiful right I mean it's, it's amazing I don't know as we get older we recognize things I know as a kid I didn't recognize as much but it was actually through art I always really appreciated nature and loved being in it but I actually began to see nature after seeing paintings and drawings so it's fun. All right. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Again, my name is Jason Meyer. If you liked, please make sure to give us a thumb up, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. And we will be back. I guess that's it for this week. The next time we'll see is Sunday night for Sketch Club. All right. So everybody have a beautiful couple of days and a wonderful start to your new year. And uh, we'll see everybody soon. Bye, guys.